All right, so it's another fun and interesting day here at the shop. The sun is out, and I thought I would preview our newest arrival that just came in for work. It does need a lot of work, despite its kind of shiny and silvery, sleek appearance. This is a 1969 Citron 2CV. It is silver and blue, metallic blue. I like the colors. It <clears throat> will probably drive some of the Citron purists crazy, but it's a pretty neat little car. It actually was assembled in, uh, I guess, York in the UK, and it is here for service. Uh, very nice customer, and uh, she's been looking forward to this appointment for a while. The car's had some, some issues. I, I wanted to show you a couple things about this car. It's pretty cool. Let's, um, well, let's start with the interior. First off, you've got these uh, really cool aluminum door handles. They're just uh, very petite. You can see three fingers, opens the door. And when you get behind the steering wheel and the driver's seat here, you'll notice that <laughs> there's quite a few interesting instruments here. Uh, notably the shift pattern. Uh, so reverse is up, first is down, second, third, fourth. But is it really up and down? It's really not, it's in and out. Um, so that's neutral. That would be the reverse second and fourth plane. So reverse would be way over here, second and fourth. And then um, first and third would be way out here. So first gear, third gear, reverse. See how that works? It's kind of a push-pull shifter. It's not what you'd think like a normal H pattern. Uh, all kinds of unique little features. We've got our uh, windshield wiper. Uh, oh, these are lights, so, sorry. Uh, our choke is down here and it lights up when you pull on it. In fact, let's just, should I read more of that? You can see that or not. Lights up when you push it in. I like that, lets you know your choke is on. Of course, we have wipers and headlights and horn and all that stuff. Very, very French. Uh, really a neat little car. The whole top comes off. Oh, I gotta show you this, the windows. So if you notice here at the window, there's a bar that goes right across the middle of the window. You can, um, let's see, is it flip? Oh yeah, I remember how to do this. You take this little guy and you push in on it and that unlatches the window, which then pushes up and it latches into here. That little peg goes into here and clicks. So if you want you to hang your arm out the window, you would just lift up this armrest and rest your elbow there and cruise like nobody's business. Isn't that cool? Super simple. There's no window regulator, no nothing. You want to shut the window, you have to release it by pushing on this little guy, which releases that little peg. Move your armrest back down. Put your window back in and then uh, latch it like this. Oh, give me two hands here. You just push that in there so the latch then latches. Um, neat little door handle, neat little pull. Lots of unique little features on these things. They're very lightweight little cars. Let's look at the engine. This is a later model one. So the, find the hood pull down here. Here it is. Let's see if I can do this with two hands. With one hand, sorry. Uh, hold on here. Let's see. There we go. And then find the prop rod, which is right here. And put that in the hole, which is right there. Okay, now we're looking at our engine, which is a two-cylinder, horizontally opposed, 604 cc, something like that. And the brakes are, how oh, should I show you this? I don't know if you can see down in there. Right there is a disc that spins on the axle, and we've got a caliper on each side. It is air cooled, so the air is drawn in where the radiator normally would be, and it's blown across the engine, and it has an oil cooler. Pretty cool, robust little engine. I don't know the horsepower, probably around 20, 25, and uh, just seems to be the neatest little thing. Here's our shifter. If you remember, we were pushing and pulling from the dash. That's how we get into the gear, so left and right. Super simple, super cool car has uh, basically 16 inch wheels. I think they're, no, they're 15s, I'm sorry. 15 inch wheels, just like a Volkswagen, but very, very narrow. 
a super supple suspension. The shocks are the shocks are right there on the frame with a, some type of a accumulator there. So the front and rear shocks kind of pull and push. It's really a neat little car. Super lightweight. I think it weighs like 1,200 pounds. So, all right, we're gonna get to work on this thing. Um, I've already started accumulating a list. It needs quite a bit of stuff, especially with the front end. It's completely wore out. So we're gonna get working on this. You'll probably see another video soon, but just wanted to show what was up and uh, what we're working on here at the shop today. It's kind of a, a nice day. I wanted to get outside and show off what we're doing. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking in. Hopefully you learned something and I wasn't too brief on describing this 1969 Citroen 2CV that actually I think was redone about 20 years ago. So I'm not sure what year it's titled as, but anyhow, thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.